We start with a point. Hi, everybody, and welcome back once again to the Imagining the Tenth Dimension video blog. My name is Rob Bryanton, and uh, this time around, we're going to be looking at another one of the poll questions that come from my blog. A reminder first that uh, if you go to 10thdimension.com slash blog, there's always new poll questions for you to be able to look at there and uh, respond to. This one is number 78 in the series, and the, the question went like this. The CERN LHC, the Large Hadron Collider, will provide evidence of extra dimensions before the end of 2011. Uh, the poll ended on March 1st, 2011. 46.9% agreed, while 53.1% disagreed. In my entry, Bees and the LHC, I quoted from an article published last year in Scientific American, which suggested that the LHC might finally reveal evidence of extra dimensions. And that was what inspired this poll question. Here we are halfway through 2011 now. Has there been anything definitive from the LHC yet? Not so far as I know. There were hints a couple of months ago that the LHC may have caught a fleeting indication of the Higgs boson, but more recent results are not confirming the sighting. In May, there was a New Scientist article reporting news from the soon-to-be-shut-down Tevatron about hints of a new particle which would not fit within the standard model, and Archive.org references a paper suggesting that such a particle could be straddling extra dimensions. Now, the lovely little animation we're looking at behind me here of vibrating Calabi-Yau manifolds comes from the blog of Czech physicist Lubos Motl. Lubos declares himself to be conservative in his viewpoints, but even he, in an entry from last November, accepts the possibility that the LHC is going to reveal evidence of extra dimensions. He even goes so far to say that he believes this revelation to be much more likely to occur than the possibility that climate change will cause significant problems to the biosphere or for mankind in this century. To be clear, he places the possibility of the LHC revealing extra dimensions at only 1-2%, to saying in the conclusion of his detailed and informative blog entry I'm providing a link to for you here, that even if the LHC fails to reveal extra dimensions this year, there are still very good reasons for physicists to continue to believe they exist. Lubos also links to articles from Popular Science and ZDNet about the possibility of the LHC revealing extra dimensions in 2011. Will it come to pass? The clock is ticking. Next time, we'll look at Poll 79, which asks, Does gravity come from the fifth dimension? My name's Rob Bryanton. Enjoy the journey.